the craziest flip we've ever done. This massive light grayish kind of sectional, we just sold this on Facebook Marketplace. We just sold this for $1,150, okay? This couch right here, this couch we got for $100 on Facebook Marketplace yesterday. It has not even been a full 24 hours. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the Money Growth Academy Show. This is episode three of our zero to $10,000 challenge. And listen, I'm not even gonna snake you all here. We get some insane profits this episode. I'm talking over $1,000 profits flipping a couch. It's insane. I've never seen anyone do these kind of $1,000 profits on a sectional or a couch on YouTube before. It's absolutely ridiculous. So make sure you scroll down, hit that like button. If you like to see these $1,000 profits, subscribe and smash that bell notification because you're going to want to make sure to stay updated on this series because we got some way crazy ideas and things coming up here especially in this next episode anyhow in this episode we continue on with couch flipping because we're making insane profits off of some of these couches and right right now it just doesn't make sense to switch boats if this is working so well as is just couch flipping and furniture flipping and if you want to see me do a more in-depth series on how i'm couch flipping and being able to find these thousand dollar profit couches Comment down below. Let me know what you want to see because I can definitely make a whole spinoff series of episodes where I show you how to find these couches, where to find them, what I'm using to find them, how I negotiate price, how I'm staging my pictures, all of that good stuff, right? So you can start doing the exact same thing I'm doing. Let me know down below or drop a like on the video and that will also let me know to do more of this couch flipping stuff and show you more of how I'm flipping furniture. But just like that, let's hop into today's video. All right, everyone. So I'm actually on my way. I'm in my car right now. Hopefully you guys can hear me all right. It's kind of loud in my car. Um, you know, I'm not bullying yet. I'm not in the Rolls Royce. I'm just in the old Camborghini, as I like to call it. So I'm actually on my way to pick up another couch right now. This one, I think, is honestly a steal of a deal. I'll put up the screenshots of the listing here. As you can see, so far, I haven't seen it with my own eyes yet, but I offered her 40 bucks for it. She had to list it for 50. You already know we're gonna get that $10 discount. Anyway, so she had it listed for 50. I got it for 40. I'm going to check it out right now. All she says that's wrong with it is that it has this broken leg. And I'll put up some screenshots or some pictures of the leg here. And this really does not look like a bad fix at all. This looks like a pretty easy, pretty simple fix. So I'm pretty hyped up about this one. Hopefully this all goes over pretty smooth. Once I get there, she says it has a few water stains on it, but that's nothing we haven't dealt with before. You already know how it goes. We just hit it with the Bissell and some of that carpet spray remover stuff and we should be good. So I'm gonna go check it out right now and hopefully I can get one of my buddies to meet me there with the truck because obviously this is not going to fit in the backseat of my Camborghini. Unfortunately, I need to get a truck. But yeah, so I've said this before, if you guys don't have a truck yourself or a Suburban or whatever it is, ask them when you know, like I am. I'm in my Camry right now. I literally don't have anything big to haul, um, but I've got friends who have trucks. I've got family who have bigger cars. I've got family who has trailers, friends who have trailers. So just make it work. You can make this work, guys. This does not take a lot of money up front. This is a $40 couch. I honestly think I'm gonna be able to sell this one for close to four to 500. We'll see. All right, I'll see you guys there. All right, everyone. So we just uh, picked up the other couch or the $40 one. Um, this was seriously, it looks like it's gonna be a great deal already. Um, it's already loaded up. I'm driving back right now. I'll, I'll flip the camera around really quick and show you. Got these uh, couches back here in the studio now. This is uh, the long part of it. And this is the other part of it, of the section right here. And as you can see, um, this right here was the broken leg right here. So this screws into this piece right here, just kind of like these other ones do. But the problem is that this completely snapped off of here, okay? And that explains why the couch is only $40. And I knew that going in though, but this does look fixable. So what I have here is just some little blocking right here. And I think what I'm gonna do is just kind of screw in these blocks into here and then down into these boards as well. And then once I have these on here, I think I'm gonna maybe put in three like that, just like that. And then I can put in this piece that was there, just like that again. And I can reinforce this by screwing it now into these backboards, which should hold it pretty well here, uh, just by screwing that in like that. And then I'll be able to just screw back in the main pieces right there and screw back into there and it should hold, so I'm not quite sure yet. I do need a staple gun there or something like that to uh, re-staple this fabric down that is all ripped up. 
but I don't think that's too bad. This doesn't look like too big of a problem here. However, yeah, these are not bad colored couches. I just vacuumed them. Um, you already know I'm going to hit them with that Bissell. We're going to get these nice and fresh again and kind of go from there. Look how gross this one was. I don't know why, but there was just a lot of dirt that pulled up out of there. So these couches better be sparkling. Go ahead and look at that color of that water in there. So we're gonna try and attempt to pour this while filming. Uh, let's see here, there we go. Yeah, wow. I already got this one all cleaned up, as you can see. Look how good this couch looks now. This looks so much better than when I first got it. Honestly, look at these cushions. These things look brand new right now. So this leg down here in the bottom, uh, that back corner back there, right there, I'll put up some screenshots of it here or just some pictures of it here. I'll also put up the listing pictures of it here. Um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna list it for yet, but once I do know, I'll put up all the listing pictures here. And yeah, so I hope I can get this one sold within the next day or so here. We got this one for 40 bucks. And we got that leg fixed. I didn't show you guys me fixing the leg because this is just kind of an overview of this whole series. But if you guys do want me to go more in depth on show you how I fix these things, how I clean them, um, make sure you comment down below. Let me know if you want me to do a spin-off series just on couch flipping and everything like that. And I'll definitely do that and I'll do more in depth of how I fix things, what I'm looking for on Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, all those other things, right? And so yeah, we're gonna get these listed right now and we'll see what they sell for. Okay, everyone, just like that, we just sold this couch. The lady just Venmoed me quite a bit of it up front and she's gonna Venmo me, Venmo me the last half when she comes and picks them up tonight. Anyways, so it hasn't even been 24 hours and these things got so much action on Facebook Marketplace. I'll put up the listing right here and I'll also put up how many saves and shares it got all within like the first night, right? I listened to these pretty late last night and I had probably like 30 or so people message me. It was ridiculous. Now remember, we got these for $40 and I just sold these for $550. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. That's a $510 profit. All because she sold it for that cheap because that back leg right there was broken. That was an easy 20 minute fix or so, not even bad at all. And the couch is probably even sturdier than it was before, to be honest. Um, we reinforced that leg pretty extensively, almost too much. We went overkill, but just to be safe, right? She been me $400 right now just to hold it until she can come back later this evening. But that brings her new total to, I think, 1000 and 1075 I'm not sure, but I'll put the total in the corners. And yeah, just like that. So now we're going to hop back on the marketplace and start looking for more couches to flip. So we just picked up this massive couch. I literally can't even fit it all in the picture here. There you go. I picked up this massive couch off of Facebook Marketplace. Again, I saw this deal pop up. I had to get over there as quickly as possible. I got this one for $100. This huge freaking sectional for $100. And it's a pretty nice. It's in really good condition. It's actually really, really comfortable as well. So I got that for $100. The guy was just moving. He wanted to get it out soon. And I was pretty lucky because the listing was up for about... 30 minutes to an hour before I saw it, but his picture was pretty bad on the cover photo. So I think that kind of deterred a lot of people. So with this one, it's not too dirty at all. There is just back here on this backrest. This is a little bit dirty, but as far as the rest of the couch and the cushions go, it's actually pretty lucky because these all have removable covers. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take two or three of them off first and run them through my washer just to make sure they don't get damaged. And if those come out okay, then I'm gonna go ahead and rip all the cushion covers off and wash them all. And then we'll, for the armrests and the backrests and maybe the bottom foot section right there, we'll obviously just use the Bissell really quick. But yeah, so this should be an easy flip right here. I'm not sure where I'm gonna list that. I gotta look at some other big sectional, see what people list them at. And then as far as the last couch that was just in the last clip, that other gray sectional, the lady just paid me just barely. She just came and picked it up. So she paid me the remainder of that. Okay, everyone, this one had to have been the craziest flip we've ever done. This massive light grayish kind of sectional, we just sold this on Facebook Marketplace. We just sold this for $1,150, okay? 
this couch right here. This couch we got for $100 on Facebook Marketplace yesterday. It has not even been a full 24 hours since we brought this couch in here and I cleaned it, vacuumed it. All I did was remove all these cushions since they're all removable from a, by a zipper and I machine washed them all. And then I just bristled like the footrest. And then of course I bristled like the armrest since they can't remove those and to wash those in the washer. And I got so many messages so quick. We probably could have sold this one for like more like 1500, but hey, a $1,000 profit, we'll take that every single day, okay? So I'm pretty excited about this one. This is our biggest flip yet for a hundred bucks into 1,150. And we are gonna deliver it to her for an extra $50 there. So I, was, I did list it for 1,100, but for an extra $50, she lives pretty close to me. Now we're gonna go ahead and get back, I guess, to looking for more couches to flip like this. You don't need to be doing so many couches every single day. You just need to score the big ones every now and then, okay? If you can score these big ones like I have been able to these last few days, you're gonna profit like crazy. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep looking for more deals. Okay, what is up everyone? Looking a bit rough here, I'm in my working clothes. Anyways, I forgot to update you guys when I did pick this up. So I picked up this gray sectional here. I'll flip the camera so you can see it better. So I picked up this gray sectional here. Um, I picked this up for $300. And just a quick update again. So we did deliver that big gray sectional in, that was in here before. We sold that one for $1,150. That brought our new total to, I think, $2,135. Or $2, but we did end up buying this one for $300. So that brings us back down to $18-ish, $35. And then I did pick up one of these as well. This was like 120 bucks or something. So that brings us more down to that 1700 range. Anyhow, so yeah, I did pick that up. I thought it might help me a little bit better. I'm still testing it out. This couch wasn't that dirty at all, so I'm not really sure how good this thing is. So yeah, we picked this one up for 300. I'm not sure what this is gonna be able to go for. Uh, we might have got snaked on this. I'm not gonna lie. We might have played ourselves. This one, we're probably not gonna get those massive gains. We've been getting really lucky on these last like handful ones, getting like, 400 to a thousand dollar gains which is insane this one i'm thinking maybe probably a little bit more normal range probably get a hundred bucks out of this one or maybe 150 i'm not really sure i'm gonna list it up but we have already got it all cleaned up and removed all those back cushion covers threw them through my washer and so we're all good on that i'm gonna go ahead and take some pictures now get it listed and kind of just see what happens this one is nice though it's a little bit different than the other ones that we actually have our first couch with an ottoman so that's pretty nice Anyhow, yes, we're gonna get some pictures up of this one and get it listed. Okay, everyone, so we just sold that last couch there. I'll put up a screenshot of that listing here. We sold that one for 450, and remember, we got that one for 300 bucks. And that wasn't even 24 hours we had held on to that one. So that's a $150 swing on that one. And now we just picked up this couch here. We got this one for 425, a little more than I usually like to pay, like I mentioned earlier. And so what we're gonna do with this one is, it's not even dirty at all. It's actually really clean. I'm probably just gonna vacuum it. I'm probably about to take pictures now before even cleaning it and getting it listed. But we're about to run and go pick up this other one now. And yeah, I'll show you guys that one once we get in here too. All right, everyone. So here's the next couch that we got here. Like I told you, we were getting two today. So this one is actually really, really big. We've still got the normal one back here that we just barely got. So this one is a little bit of an older one, but we just need to hit it with the Bissell. And I think this thing is gonna look so new and refreshed again. Now guys, make sure you don't play yourself like we kind of got played here. The lady in her description said no rips or tears. And sometimes, you know, you just trust people too much. But if you look back here, this is a uh, pretty big rip in this fabric here. We are going to try and repair this. Just get a little stitching going on here. Uh, shouldn't be too bad of a repair. And then so we should be good to go from there. And I'll put up a picture of the listing here. And then we're going to see how much we can actually really get for this one. Okay, guys. So in order to fix a rip like that in a couch, what you need to do is you need to go to um, like a Hobby Lobby or something like that or a fabric store. What you need to do is just find some thread that matches. This happens to be a thread that matches the thread that's in the couch. And then you're going to need some curved upholstery needles. This is the only way you'll be able to really get in because of the curve of the cushions or the curves of the couches. And these are much more heavy duty so they can go through your couch material really easily. And then I did end up picking up just some more underlay black material just because there are some couches that we do have to repair underneath or maybe it's just ripped underneath. So it'll be easy if I can just cut out a big square and then just throw in a brand new piece or something like that. If you do go to a fabric store, I happen to go to Joanne's Fabric. Just ask someone 
to help you thread match what you have. It's really quick. They helped me. I was in and out in like five minutes. It was super easy. So make sure you do something like that and then you'll be all set. Okay guys, so remember that couch I showed you just last night and we got it? So that's like a $400 Ikea couch. And the nice thing about these Ikea couches is that you can come to Ikea and you saw it had all those cat scratches all over it. But with those Ikea couches, you can come here and you can buy a whole new cover replacement set for just 50 bucks. Now remember, someone was giving that away for free because they thought those cat scratches were beyond repair. But you just come right here, get a new cover for it, just like this. So they have all kinds of different sofa covers here for any Ikea thing you can get. So just come pick up one of these and you'll be set. So like I was telling you earlier with these um, Ikea couches, if you do manage to get an Ikea couch, or it depends on some other brands you get, this one here we ended up getting for free because like I told you earlier, I had these really, really deep cat scratches. And these are obviously, you know, these ones don't look too bad here that you could probably shave off. But then you get into this and yeah, that's pretty bad. So like I was telling you earlier, go to Ikea, pick up yourself one of the sofa covers, and all we do right here is we're gonna unscrew these arm bolts right here. You got three right there, and you got another one back there. I don't know how well you can see, it's kind of dark, but you got these three right here, and you got one in the back. And these arms just pop off. And then these are really nice because they just Velcro on just like that, okay? So that's pretty nice. So that's pretty nice. So don't be afraid to tackle things like this, okay? This was free. The cover's 55 bucks. These sell brand new for like, 400 bucks or 450 dollars or something so if you do come across something like this definitely don't be afraid to take it on it's not that hard and yeah so we're gonna go ahead and get this all taken off it's super easy take off the arms first and those each have their own individual covers just like that all we had to do was just switch out those covers there probably took us i don't know maybe 15 or so minutes not that hard at all really easy to take this off because like i said it's all just velcro and then you just gotta screw the arms back on but yeah so we got this new cover on it looks super good right now obviously you see i got my back lights on some other lights i'm about to take my pictures for the listings here and but yeah so not bad at all just switch out the covers easy fix looks like a brand new couch now it's pretty cool anyways so yeah that's just a quick tip there for these ikea couches and so we're gonna go ahead and get this one listed okay everyone so we just sold that really big sectional there she ended up paying me all in cash so i'm not gonna be able to show you a venmo receipt or anything like that but it's all cash all here 825 bucks now we did get that sectional for 360 bucks 500 swing on that one it actually wasn't even that bad just two quick cleans with the pistol and speaking of pistol we actually did go with the new one here. This one is a little bit bigger than that last one I showed you. I do suggest going with this bigger model. It's only about 20 or 30 bucks more than the little green machine, but this one, I'll put a link down below in the description and a screenshot of it here. This one is so much better than the little green machine. It has way more suction, just way better overall performance. Anyways, that brings our new total, like I said, to something like to 2,175. And now in just a little bit, I'm gonna be showing you guys the other couch I just barely picked up. Um, I'm gonna get it back to him, my studio. I'm on my way to go grab that one right now and I'll show you guys what that one looks like. All right, everyone, so here is this next couch I got. I can't remember the exact name of it, but I'll put up the Ikea listing of it here. This is like an eight or $900 couch, brand new. We got this one for free. Um, she did say there were some rips in some of the cushion covers, but they were hidden. Uh, I'm not sure. I haven't been able to find where the rips are yet, but this couch is filthy. As you can tell, just looking at the color difference between right there and right there and these cushion covers this couch is so freaking dirty and it is covered i don't know how well you guys can see this but it's just absolutely filthy and covered with so much dog hair and stains and all the other stuff right so what we're gonna do here is we got our bissel right there this is the newer one i told you guys to go get instead of the little green machine and of course we've got our folex uh stain remover here i'm not sure how well this is going to work but we're gonna, we got our folic solution in with our water mix and our Bissell. And we're gonna try just hitting this really dirty spot, see how the stain holds up. And if it is kind of holding up and it's not coming out, then we will just go to Ikea, get a whole new sofa set for all of this, sofa covers, and just replace everything. If it will come off, then we might try and get it off, throw it in the washer a few times with some pretty heavy duty detergent and see what we can do. And you know, save an extra 150 bucks or so on sofa covers. But first we're gonna sit it, we're gonna hit it with the Bissell and see what happens. Okay, so I've just been hitting this spot right there specifically where it was really dirty for just a few minutes. And just that spot, look how dirty that water already is. That's disgusting. 
Anyways, so I hit it for a little bit there, and just by judging on how it looks right now and how hard I was scrubbing, and I was actually even using the specific pet stain tool to remove um, pet stains like this, but I think these are just way too far. Um, you could tell it's kind of coming out if you get in really close. You can see it's getting lighter. However, I just don't want to waste my time scrubbing down this whole couch, trying to scrub down the cushions, trying to scr scrub down all these edges. So I am just going to run to Ikea tomorrow morning and just go ahead and pick up a whole new sofa set cover for this. All right, everyone. So here's just a quick update of everything that's kind of just happening. Because a lot just happened in the last few minutes here. So we just got another couch just like this one right here. Remember we, we, that had all the cat scratches on it. And we just changed the covers. We got another one just like it right here. As you can see, I'm changing the covers on the armrests, on the covers and everything. And if you remember, all you do right for these Ikea couches, you go to Ikea, you grab yourself a new cover for that, for the exact couch right here. So I got the Karlstad one. So I'm going to be changing the cover on this one right now. Now, let me flip the camera around here. Now for this big Ikea sectional we had here that I showed just a bit ago, where I told you it was really, really dirty and I was going to try and clean it first. So I went ahead already and I already just ordered the new cushion covers off of Ikea. It's going to cost me about 160 or so bucks. Now also what we have is, I don't know if you guys remember this one, but this really big gray sectional. Now I remember I told you guys that I was kind of playing a risky move here going for this one at 425 because um, I thought I could flip it for a lot higher, but it turns out it's been like four, four or five days. I've been storing it in my garage here and nobody has bit on this. No one at all. You have someone to come pick this up right now for 400 and I got it for 425. So I am going to go ahead and eat a $25 loss on this couch. Hey, you win some, you lose some. This is one we're going to go ahead and lose on because it's actually just costing me money at this point to keep storing it in my garage. It's taking up space. And I need more space so I can get more couches. Also, so I can move this big IKEA sectional into my garage for the time being. What's up, everyone? All right, so we did get the new couch cover on this one. So it looks just like this brand new one we just got too. Um, the only difference between these is the legs. This one has some upgraded different legs. This one just has the normal IKEA legs it comes with right out, right out of the box. So that's the only big difference there. So earlier we talked about that other white Ikea section. I had the bigger one that was just super, super dirty and covered in dog hair. And we weren't going to clean it. And then we started to clean it. And then we figured out that we can't clean it good enough. So then we ended up just ordering online the uh, replacement covers. Anyhow, I went to the Ikea near me and they actually had the covers for the chase. Now, the only reason I did get the chase covers here is to save on shipping. And they charge you by weight of the package. And these cover packages are kind of heavy. So originally it was going to cost me like 20 ish, 15, 20 bucks in shipping to get the big section covers and then this section cover as well. However, I was able to pick this cover up at Ikea. They had it in stock. They just didn't have the two seater cover in stock. So I am getting that one shipped to me. That one only ended up costing me five bucks in shipping. So I saved about 20 ish bucks there. Not bad. So we do have someone coming to get this couch tomorrow. And I do believe someone's also going to come and grab this couch from us as well. Maybe tonight, possibly tomorrow. I don't know. It is already kind of late. It's 930 here. So it probably will be tomorrow. Um, and the other couch, I'll put up a screenshot of that one here. We did end up selling that one for a $25 loss. I know, I know. But hey, you know what? You live and you learn. And we decided just to get rid of that one because it was taking up too much space in my garage. And I need to be able to get the other part of this one in my garage, which is where it is now. So we did take a $25 loss on that one, but not bad. We're definitely already going to make it up on this couch, this couch, and this couch. So it's not really a big deal at all. I'll take that $25 loss any day if it means I can move more couches faster because I now have more room to store them, right? So I'm going to update you guys with the new updated total once this one sells. And that one sells because so I got to go do some math on the couch covers. I had to order for that, order for that one right there. And the couch cover I ordered for that one minus the $25 we lost. So I'm going to give you guys an updated total once we sell all these couches in here. Oh, hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to the studio. Okay, so let's go ahead and wrap up this episode. So those two Ikea couches that we had that we just threw on new sofa covers, the sofa covers were each 50 bucks a pop. So we threw those both on those couches. They looked brand new. You can't even make this up. They look so good. We sold one of those couches for $315 and we sold the other one for $290.
The other one we sold for less just because it did not have the upgraded legs like the other Ikea couch did. So it was a little bit less valuable. Regardless, we sold them both within a matter of two or three days. I think I had them. The turnaround time on some of these items I'm getting is insane. We're flipping these so quick and barely ever having to hold them in inventory. So let's go ahead and talk over finances to wrap up this episode. So after deducting all the expenses throughout this episode, like gas, sewing material, or carpet cleaning machine, our new grand total for this series is $2,000. $772.90. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. We are cruising to this 10K mark so quick. We're only on episode three. And this next episode is going to be just as crazy. I can promise you that. I'm going to try some things that I have never seen any other YouTube couch flipper do. And if this works out, we're going to make insane profits off of some of these pieces of furniture. But that will be for the next episode. So make sure you hit that bell notification button so you can stay up to date on this series. Comment down below, do you want me to make more in-depth couch flipping videos so I can show you how I'm finding these deals, how I'm staging these pictures, how I'm negotiating people down to lower prices for their couches, and kind of all that other random stuff in between. Make sure you smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hey, stay tuned for this next episode because if all goes well, we're going to make insane profits. And if all doesn't go well, well, it's going to be a funny one for you. So just like that, I'll see you guys in the next one.